Good morning, everybody. Um, it is Wednesday, and I'm just sitting here having my coffee. And today we are going into the city to go see my father-in-law. My husband has a meeting uh, with the doctor. Well, I could go too, but I don't want the kids to be a part of the meeting because I don't want them to distract what the doctor is trying to tell the family. Anyway, so I'm going to take them and uh, occupy them. And my husband will go to the meeting and we'll go visit Grandpa. Uh, but before I get things rolling, I had this strong urge to try something different and something that I have never done before. So I'm going to turn you around and take a peek. Now this is not really, I don't really consider this a whip. I consider it more of a learning piece because I am taking chunks of a particular pattern called Pandora's Box and I'm only doing parts that I want to do. So I'm going to turn you around and just show you. So I just have this scrap piece of 25 count. Um, I want it to be small because it's not really a piece that I want to turn into a whip or a project. It's not something I, that I intend on really like hanging or framing or anything. It's just a practice piece to get me used to doing pulled work, pulled thread work. So what I'm doing is I'm taking uh, Pandora's box and I am just doing the square boxes. So each box is 14 by 14. And then inside the box, um, she has you fill them in with um, different pulled thread techniques. And there's some cross stitch as well. Um, if you guys don't know what Pandora's box is, um, you can go to Elizabeth Almond's website, blackworkjourney.uk. I'll link it below. I'll link it below. I think most people are familiar with it. She's done Save the Stitches and the Box of Delights and stuff. So this is the Pandora's box. I'm just using silk. It's like a J Japan silk. It's very, it's not twisted. And then in the insides, I'm going to use my de Havilland silk. Uh, so there's going to be some color on the inside, but the white it's just the border is just white so I'm gonna see if I can get a close-up for you guys there you go so that's all I've done so far uh, it's a good little piece that I plan on taking with me in the car going to the city and uh, I can also uh, do it while we're in the hospital with grandpa so I just thought that I would share that with you guys so guys, that's what I'm doing. If you guys are at all interested in learning how I do the pulled thread work, you know, I'm no expert. This is my first time doing it. But if you want to see me do it and show you how I do it, like I do with my uh, specialty stitches, like I'm no expert in any area, but at least I'm, I'm trying it, right? And it's turning out okay. So if you guys want, I can show you how I'm doing the, the pulled thread work in other videos if you're interested. Uh, comment below and let me know if you're interested in that. It looks a lot more intimidating than it actually is. It's actually really quite easy. <laughs> so let me know and I'm going to finish my coffee and then I am going to get the kids up and get ready. Mm -hmm. Allison is drinking her jello at the Grey Nuns while we're waiting for Daddy. <laughs> is that good, Allison? Yes. Naomi's drinking her jello too. Is that good, Naomi? Mm -hmm. And here's Miss Mess. She's Miss definitely my child. <laughs> Miss Mess? Yeah, I used to be called Miss Mess when I was a little, when I was a teenager. Yes, I was Miss Mess. Watch this. I still am Miss Mess. Watch but. this, watch this. Good morning, guys. 
it is the next day. Um, it was a long day yesterday. It is about 7 o'clock in the morning right now and everybody is still sleeping. So that's why I am talking a bit low. Uh, but yeah, it was a long day yesterday. Um, but the good news is that my father-in-law is coming home today. My husband's going back to the city to get him today. I'm not going and the kids aren't going. We're going to stay home. Because we're going to be going on our next... Sorry, I'm just moving in my chair. We're going to be uh, going on our next holiday very soon. So, I got stuff to do. Uh, I wanted to show you what I had done with Pandora's box though. Uh, the uh, clip that you saw earlier, that was done wrong. Um, because I want to do it, I'm doing it on 25 count and I want it, and it's supposed to be done over two. And I'm so used to just doing things over one that I wasn't thinking because it was so early in the morning. So I restarted it because I have, you know, scrap pieces of fabric. Uh, and that's all it is, is just a scrap piece of fabric just to practice doing um, these uh, pull thread pieces. So I'm going to turn you around and give you a peek. So there we have it. After I realized that I was doing the other one uh, too small, um, I cut this piece of fabric and I started it. And I did most of this in the car while we were traveling. Uh, and it was good. Um, I think I will keep this in the car for traveling. Um, it's nice and light and you can just pick it up and work on it. And also for any appointments that we have to go to and stuff. So it's not anything that's going to be put into the like rotation as you would call it. It's just going to be something that I can practice and learn because I like to learn new things. So that's that. As for my other stitching, I have Esther's Wave here and I'm going to be doing my second band here. Um, oh, and I don't even know if I can get it done because I have so much to do and we're leaving for holidays and I don't know if I'll be able to get this band done before we go but I'll do a little bit of whatever I can do uh, I'll turn you around so you can take a peek as well so for this month all I did was this band here with the the number two color and then this here on my needle is number three color which is a cross stitch so that's good. I think I'm just going to do the um, the cross stitches and then maybe I will add the beads when I get home from my holiday. So I'm going to end the video here for today. I know it's still morning, but this is just a carryover from yesterday. So thank you guys so much for your support once again. And I will see you guys again very, very soon. Okay, bye.